Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Pink Fresh Studio and I am using the Best Day collection. I have a cute little photo of my dog who's sleeping, little Buster, and um, yeah, I thought it would look really cute on a little page and I already have a title in my head so uh, you'll see where that goes in a second. So what I'm doing here is I'm ripping some pieces of paper and I want to arrange them so that they're, you know, the the difference between the first paper and the last is narrow at the top and wide at the bottom. So it looks like a cascade almost. And um, I'm just going to affix those to the page, just looking like that. Um, and I love the I love the colours in this collection. They're just really soft and pretty. So they suit a sleepy photo well, I think. So I'm just using my ATG gun with double-sided tape to stick them down and uh, just tucking them in there underneath and then sticking that top one fully down and I'm going to just wrinkle up the edges there just to add a little bit of extra dimension to the layout. I will often do that if I rip some edges and you'll notice I ripped so that I don't have the white tear showing. You can, you can rip either way and it depends which way you pull the paper to whether you get the white tear or you don't and I prefer not to have it so um, yeah that's why I do that. So here I've got the Heather lowercase alphas and I'm just doing my title and I know it's going to be a little snoozy so it's a play on the little Susie word uh, you know wake up little Susie so, um, so I thought that would be quite cute and I'm going to use the Rocky Slope ink from Pink Fresh and uh, it goes well with the grey paper that I have in the middle there. So I'm just checking that stamp's the right colour and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to stamp, stamp the word directly onto the page. Now I don't use a ruler, I'm just doing it slightly um, offset. They're not going in a straight line so I didn't need to use the ruler to make sure that they were straight. So you can see they're not meant to be straight there. Okay, so... Uh, I wanted to get that in so that I know when I put my other bits and pieces on exactly where that is and it's there because otherwise I have a habit of putting things on and then thinking oh, where am I going to put my title? <laughs> so uh, yeah that's that's me just making sure I don't miss that this time. So this is a little chipboard frame um, which I want to use behind the photo as a little subtle accent and this is from the cut apart sheet in one of the in the six by six paper pack and it just says love you always and I thought that was really sweet and I wanted to bring some navy blue into this so that's why I wanted to use that okay so I'm using this little envelope as well which is in the um, journaling bits I think it's called um, there are envelopes in there so um, those are really great and I use them often as layering pieces but you could of course hide journaling in them there's lots of things you can do with that that's the puffy sticker there that says grateful for this moment um, sometimes it is nice when dogs go to sleep and you can have a break when they're young <laughs> I think Buster was about two in this photo so he was quite young but he's still lazy really to be fair he's always been lazy um, which makes me laugh. Okay, so I put some foam on the back of the photo and then I realise that actually I want to put the frame underneath, so the foam is making it too bulky. So I just draw around um, and cut out the foam in between and I make a bit of a mess. It took me a while to do it. I made it a bit of a mess, couldn't get it all off. And then I think, well actually I could snip some of the frame off <laughs> and make my life easier. So. There we go, the lesson has been learned there by us all. Don't snip up, don't try and cut out all the all the foam when only some is needed. Anyway, it all came together and you can't see that that's a mess under there once I've stuck it down. So stick it down I will and um, there we go. I like the green coming out at the edge of the photo that picks up on the green from the uh, the paper on the left. Okay, so I'm going to finish my title now, and it's, as I said before, it's going to be Little Snoozy. And I'm going to put Little slightly um, out of line as well, as Snoozy is. And also, because the 
the arm on the T there, I needed to put the other T lower, so it just made sense to copy that sort of situation. Okay, so there's the title complete. And I'm going to bring in some other embellishments now. So I've got the floral die cuts here, and um, gorgeous, as always, from Pink Fresh. They, um, they do great florals. I've said it before, I'll say it again. They, um, the florals are always top notch and I love using them. So I'm going to put some florals above and below the photo. Um, just to add, I always add florals, whether it's a girl layout, a boy layout or um, a Christmas layout. Florals are always involved. Um, <laughs> that's just me. And I'm going to put, yeah, so you see above and below. I'm going to change those orangey mustardy colour leaves in a second um, for blue ones. But it's coming together here. There we go. I just want plenty of that blue on there. It goes well with my title, I think. And this is sort of like a boy layout with, with some girly bits on. And I'm really pleased with how it came out, actually. So I'm going to do a little um, cluster here on the left next to the title because I felt that, that there was too much white space over on the right so I just wanted to fill some of that up. I'm just looking at all the various stickers and puffy stickers, there's so much in this collection. And that little sticker there says last days of summer and I'm just going to put that right there below the title just as a little extra to finish that off. And now I'm going to start to stick things down. Um, and they're fairly simple things, so I can stick them while they're still in situ. That's why I stuck all the photo first. I have a habit of laying out a whole layout and then realising I haven't stuck a single thing down and have to go back and do it all. So I'm a bit more on the ball today. So I'm going to put some um, foam on the back of this flower here um, on the edge of the page just to add some dimension. And I cut off the edge of that ultimately, but it's um, just hanging over at the moment. I'm going to put some glue there and stick that down. So it's a nice little cluster there, which I really does, do think finishes off the title. Um, that little flare says love, little chipboard flare. And I thought that was really cute at the top. I've got some enamel dots here which come with the collection as well, and I always like to have those in sets of three. Um, I just think it's visually appealing to the eye to have three together. There we go. And finally, I'm going to use some um, spray. This is from Shimmers, actually. And I'm just going to do some splatters around in that mustardy yellow colour. I think it's actually called mustard. So there's the final layout. Um, I hope you like it and it gives you some inspiration for using your This Day collection, sorry, Best Day collection. Um, I really enjoyed making it and um, I would love to know what you think. Check out the close-ups and uh, please do shout if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Pink Fresh Studio. Bye-bye.